For nearly nine months, COVID-19 has been a part of everyone's daily lives. As the year draws to its end, over 60 million cases of the virus have been reported, and over 1 million people dying as a result of getting infected with COVID. Many have wondered when the pandemic will come to an end, and what would it take to stop the virus. On December 4th, College of the Canyons' Canyon Country campus held a Zoom seminar for its Science Center professors. Uh, the SARS-CoV-2 stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, and I think we're all a little familiar. We've all heard that it causes breathing difficulties, coughing, and that's that respiratory syndrome aspect. This virus is looking for a docking station. It's looking for a location where it can attach onto a cell, enter that cell, and then it's going to basically take over that cell and hijack it to make more viruses. This virus um, receptor is found on multiple organs throughout the body. And you can see that the lung is present about here, but that there's much higher concentrations um, of this virus that are found in the colon, the gallbladder, the heart, and the kidney. The professors all agree that the best way to prevent the virus from spreading any further would be to take the vaccine once it becomes FDA approved and widely available for the general public to take for themselves. But even if people were to take the vaccine around the same time, it would still be a little while longer until the pandemic comes to an official end. From there, we could start to see the latter half of 2021 um, herd immunity achieved. And, and only then will we, really, can, will we really be able to start to say that the pandemic is over. In the meantime, the panelists recommended that people still socially distance and take the necessary precautions, even after taking the vaccine just in case those who haven't injected themselves yet won't cause further spread to those unprotected. As long as case numbers are going down, mortalities are going down, and hospital beds become more available and we're not putting such a huge strain on the hospital healthcare systems, we could start to move down into the red and into the orange and into the yellow over time. Um, and I think that having the vaccination is just going to basically speed up that process and make it happen more quickly. I'm Moises Berrigan, reporting for Canyons News.